company. More and more Wisconsinites are falling victim to Lyme disease and the fever, tiredness and aches it causes. Sports director Lauren Majera knows that firsthand. Our outdoors expert, as we call her, has spent the last week battling that nasty outdoors disease. Tonight, Newsline 9's Emily Neubauer has her story. For me to feel that run down and that in that much pain and achy. It was just another outdoor shoot. There's a trail going around it. Sports director Lauren Majera was taping a segment of Outdoors with Lauren. Uh, what kind of flies are we going to use? Wet flies, dry flies? We're going to start off. Oh, it was a tech. After a successful day, push on. She headed back. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> this but three weeks later, that yeah, all changed. That. I woke up one morning and I could barely move. I it hurt to get out of bed. She didn't know what was wrong. It took my friends and my coworkers and my supervisor to say, this is so unlike you. You don't look yourself. Um, you seem really ill. We're really concerned about you go to the doctor. And so she did. Now what's going on? And yeah. that's I mean, when she remembered. We're going to start over. It was a tick. And later that night, I had found an extremely small tick on my hip. Now that extremely small tick was likely the cause of some extremely big problems. You can get meningitis from Lyme's. Well, it's rare. You can get um, heart disease. It can affect your heart in different ways from Lyme's. Luckily, Lauren caught the disease before any real damage was done. So early, in fact, her blood tests came back negative. Oh, I mean, your lab test came back negative. The differences in Wisconsin, um, you can almost think, we presume you have Lyme disease if you present with the right symptoms and have the tick exposure. Now she's on the mend. After a round of antibiotics and a lot of sleep, Lauren's feeling back to her old self. <laughs> but one thing has changed forever. It will definitely change my attitude. And I mean, when you're in the outdoors, you really are in a different realm and you're not always in control of everything that can happen. So as she gears up for another outdoor shoot. A little muddy up here, guys. Another adventure. She says she's not afraid. I mean, my passion for the outdoors is always going to be as strong as it always has been. I'm just going to be extremely more careful and mindful. Emily Neubauer, Newsline 9. And Lauren joins us now to talk a little bit more about this. Lauren, after you were so sick, how are you feeling compared now to uh, today? Uh, compared to how sick I really was, I'm feeling back to myself. I have energy again. My joints feel better again. And it really is surprising how quickly you can respond to the antibiotics, if that is what you have, and you're probably diagnosed. Now, obviously, it was pa it's a painful disease, but what would you say was the worst part? Uh, the joint pain, for sure, and the fatigue. But honestly, I would say the worst part was how scary and the fear that really came over me when I potentially thought how bad it could have been if I would have gone untreated. Um, that was what probably scared me the most and what worried me the most. And honestly, I'm just so glad that I listened to my symptoms. Everyone listen to your body. If you're feeling those kinds of symptoms, go in, get treated, get tested. It couldn't hurt anyone. It didn't take you much longer to feel better, though, after you got treated, right? Once I started taking the medicine, I started feeling better um, almost immediately. And then I was back to myself about a week later. Well, we noticed right away because our Lauren that we love so much was down. <laughs> I'm back. Not the glad same. Back, so we're glad to yep. make sure that you And, of course, the tick bite was the downfall of the day. But I had so much fun on that trip, and I have that story coming up in sports.